my god, I saw this. I kind of got a little chuckle. So check this out. Said dad strips down to skibbies over school man mandate. A dad strips off his clothing at a school board meeting. Let's get to the video. Normally, ladies and gentlemen, somebody stripping and taking off their clothes at an official meeting, I would say, you know, that's a no no. Yeah. Um, however, I may have to give this guy an exception. Uh, there's a father who stripped down to his underwear at a school board meeting to expose how silly anti-maskers are being. Yeah. This is that the dripping, <laughs> dripping springs. <laughs> yeah, in the, in the it's kind of hilarious. This up. What's I mean, the name of the school? This, system, is, this right? is what he's anti-maskers, anti anti I man. Uh, no gold is such extreme stupid like shit. Or any other entity. Oh, oh, oh. Just ask my wife. Telling me what to do. But... Sometimes I got to push the envelope a little bit, and I just decided that I'm going to not just talk about it, but I'm going to walk the walk. Uh, at work, they make me wear this jacket. I hate it. They make me wear this shirt and tie. I hate it. On the way over here, I ran three stop signs and four red lights. I almost killed somebody out there. <laughs> but by God, it's my roads too. So I have every right to drive as fast as I want to, make the <laughs> Oh my God. To school today and the parking lot's full and I decided I was going to park. This guy's a fucking loon. Which in this case happened to be a uh, handicap. But I really hate my clothes. So <laughs> Here he comes. It's simple protocol, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking father gets down in the drawers, dude. He can't make this shit up. You can't. Mr. Akers, I understand. <laughs> if you would mind putting your pants back on, <laughs> Well, listen, okay. His time is already up. So, yeah, of course. So, you know, he's finished. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, you know, I like this guy. Personally, I know the point was extreme, but I like it. Yeah. He was making a point. He was making the point. You know, I think it's kind of. I was when we don't say, oh, I ran three stop signs of the day. Obviously, but I think, he was, I think he, and we I think he was just saying this to make a point. I don't think he would really do that. Not follow rules of safety. Yeah. Let's just abandon all of it. And here's the reality his argument has intellectual integrity. It does. If you're saying that it's your uh, constitutional right to not wear a mask, and it's a constitutional violation if anyone says to wear a mask, well, it, it must be a constitutional violation for somebody to tell you to wear a seatbelt, or to wear a tie to work, or to have shoes when you go into a convenience store. Yeah, or it's like, like someone tells you, it's, it's, yeah, like constitutional right to use a free speech, like if you saw, like if, if someone pissed you off, he said, "Hey, fuck you," or like, "Yeah, or you call a woman a bitch." He said, "You're constitutional right, you know, like it's constitutional right, you know, to freedom press or to take pictures in public because you're in public surrendering. You know, like people want to, who like to take pictures or record videos like that. It's my constitutional right to, to use my my video camera and and take pictures and record videos. All of that must also be a constitutional violation if the mask." Mandate is a constitutional violation as well. Let's put up a picture of this guy. His name is James Akers. James Akers, James Akers. is the father of a high school student. I'm sure that high school student is probably not happy about this, but no. oh well. Uh, the father of a high school student in the Dripping Springs Independent School District, west of the state capital of Austin, uh, used his 90 seconds to speak at the 23rd August meeting to urge the district to institute mask protocols in schools, despite the inconvenient nature of wearing masks. Great freaking point. Yeah. All right. Dina, what, what were your thoughts when you saw this? <laughs> he did a great visual demonstration, and I think that is what people are going to remember, which is I good. just love when he says, well, my country makes me wear a jacket. I don't like it. Down. I have my country wear a shirt tie. Right? I don't like it. And we have... I wear your three stop signs, you know, even though I, I like stop signs, stop time. <laughs> I can go outside I want to That's go. That's a right. <laughs> not a right. That's why there's a ton of restrictions on it. Same with entering a private business. It's a privilege, not a right. That's how we decide whether or not things can be restricted in this country. And there's actually very few maybe constitutional 
rights, you know, most of the things people are thinking about and talking about are privileges. And we allow the government, we allow private companies to restrict those. So his case was perfect. I usually use that as an example. Dress codes, we have them all the time. Yep. And the reason why is because going into those places is a privilege, not a right. I like the fact that he had a buildup to taking off his clothes, right? And the buildup was, let me tell you about what I did before I got here. I decided to run stop signs and I also ran red lights. I, I almost killed somebody, but who cares? You know, the road belongs to me too, right? Yeah. And, and really when you look at it from that context, from the angle that he presented it, that is how ridiculous. That'd be like my says, "Hey, I have the right to go mask, down the street walking and nothing but Mark George, my like that. It's my right." Anti-masker yeah. because it's a violation of my constitutional. Don't no, be like right. saying, "Hey, no, it's almost we, my right to run around my house butt naked if I want." It's my right. Regulations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all of our social order here in the United States. Why do you think they conflate their privilege to do something or to be in a particular place with their constitutional right? You know, I actually think it's ignorance. Mm. And why do we not have maybe more basic um, civic rights lessons in this country? Mm. You know, in terms of even just voting, we saw what a mess it was when people didn't understand the basics of how voting works in our country. And also just plain civics, you know, we only have these, uh, you know, bill of rights and people maybe haven't read them, they don't understand them. So I think this is an example of, hey, it's great to live in a country that has rights, but if you don't understand them, this is a big mess and this is an example of that. Yeah, you know, so it's, yeah. Like people would bitch more like some people like, you know, saying their you know, free speech like that, you know, I mean, yeah, YouTube only gives you so much, you know, like what they allow, won't they allow. But for, for, all, for all I care, I, you know, I can say without my mouth, but you know, as long as it doesn't violate the terms of service, but I have my right to exercise my first amount of free speech. Like if I'm a public, you know, if I see something like that, I'm gonna, sometimes people say, hey, if you see something, record it. I mean, shit, that's what I would sit there say. You know, if you're in a public centering and you see something good like that, some people like to just, like take pictures or do video, you know, short clippings like that. You know, like some of these troopers want to rail me because I've got a video of a woman walking out of a store and I said it's sexy, babe. The video's on 10, 10 seconds and people want to rail on me like that. Here's the thought. And think about this as well, before you, if you want to rail me some more. Was that woman in danger? No. Was she being harassed? No. Was I stalking her? No. That woman got out of the store with her car and drove away. That, that woman's life was not in danger. She wasn't, th she wasn't threatened. It was a ten second, ten second video. You know what? It's my right to, it's my right to film whatever I want if I ever see it. As long as I'm not stalking, harassing, nor eat people like that, put them in lives in jeopardy, danger like that. It would be like my right to film a tree or a deer walking the street, you know? Or like if I, if I go watch a baseball game, hey, it's my right to film the, the, the baseball game. <laughs> or like if I do my bus where I look at it, film at the window of the scene or like that. It's my right. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out here. Mike, job. Peace out. Love, much love, and respect.